Hey, what is up guys you are watching the ITKHQ and today we're going to be taking a look at 50 iOS 8.4 compatible Cydia tweaks. So these are going to be the latest tweaks. Some, are going to, some of them are going to be free, some of them are going to be paid. So let's jump straight right into it. So the very first tweak we'll be taking a look at is going to be control pane. It's for $1 and essentially allows you to access all of your quick settings directly from this particular panel. You can also change your volume, change your brightness, you can also power off your or respring your device directly from here as well. Again, it gives you a lot of options, you know, you can turn on VPN or turn on do not disturb mode and, you know, auto lock features and everything like that. So it's a very nice tweak. Now, in order to invoke this tweak, you need Activator Gesture. Now, Activator is a second tweak of mine which I absolutely enjoy using and it's also a free tweak. So as you guys can see, you can basically invoke different tweaks with different functions by gestures, all right, so, so through gestures. So right here, when I double tap on that status bar, it's going to go ahead and invoke that tweak, which is Control Pane. So it's a very nice tweak. Now the third uh, tweak we'll be taking a look at, it's also free, is Alert Close. Now Alert Close essentially allows you to, gives you basically an alert message and gives you a few options when you basically close an application or quit an application. So as you guys can see, when I swipe, up on that card it gives me three options close the application relaunch the application dismiss switcher when I tap close the application it's just going to go ahead and close the application or I can I can also relaunch the application or I can simply dismiss the switcher it's going to take me back to the home screen all right now the next uh, tw tweak we'll be taking a look at is going to be lyrics for music lyrics for music is a free tweak and essentially gives you lyrics so while you listen to your song you can also enjoy the lyrics as well all right so uh, it's a simple tweak, uh, so when you're listening to music, just go to the now playing section and tap on that album artwork, alright, just once. And within a few seconds, you will see all of the lyrics, which is pretty sweet. Again, you need to scroll through as well, uh, and it's amazing. And it's actually free, which is even more awesome. Alright, so the fifth tweak we'll be taking a look at is going to be a volume slider. Volume slider is a free tweak, gives a very simple, neat little volume slider on the top. So. Uh, it's very neat, simple tweak, love it. All right, now the sixth tweak we'll be taking a look at is going to be after lock. Now, after lock gives it's basically you can say an activator uh, gesture and activator action essentially. So when you go into the settings for after lock, you guys can see you can set the time. So I will say that after five seconds after locking my device, I need this to do something. And what that would be is going to be to get my device into airplane mode. So when I lock my device after five seconds, it's going to take my device into airplane mode. So if you guys can see right here, just keep your eye on the top left hand corner. You guys can see now it's in the airplane mode, which is pretty sweet. So that is after lock. It's a free tweak and I love it. Again, you can go ahead and just turn off airplane mode by going into the control pane. All right, now the seventh tweak is going to be M terminal. It's a free tweak. Now M terminal is basically for those who act, uh, who actually enjoy developing tweaks, basically and enjoy you know messing around with uh, the iOS devices even more. So basically, you can just simply go ahead and make a very nice CD tweak uh, from here as well. Uh, you just install TOS, install iFile, and you're good to go. So uh, yeah, that's M terminal. It's like a terminal for iOS. It's pretty sweet. The eighth one is going to be Cydia Impactor. It's a free tweak, it's a very latest tweak, and it is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, Cydia Impactor allows you to just unjailbreak your device, so it just essentially destroys all the jailbreak data, all the apps basically, and without even, you know, without you restoring your device. So you don't need to restore your device with the latest firmware. So again, it's actually very sweet basically. So if you don't want to go to the latest firmware, which may, you know, just prevent you from jailbreaking anymore, you can simply use this and you don't really need to restore your device to the latest firmware. So CD Impactor, it's a very nice tweak, very good tweak. Go ahead and install it right now. Nine, uh, ninth tweak is going to be No Bar Plus, which is also a free tweak and gives you basically a full screen experience in the uh, CD app. As you guys can see, there's no status bar on the top, so it's full screen. That's No Bar Plus, it's free. Go ahead and check it out. The 10th tweak is going to be no exploring. It's also free and basically it removes the explore bar uh, from the app store. Now again, explore tab is probably the most useless thing. I never really use explore feature in the app store. 
So this tweak just basically removes that from the app store. All right, now the 11th one is going to be roundification, which is a free tweak and gives you the ability to have a very simple, very nice little rounded corners in your, you know, in your control center. It's also like floating as well. Similarly, you can have it over here as well in your notification center again. So the corners are all rounded up. It's pretty sweet. You can have rounded banners, rounded CC, rounded no and notification center, round app switcher cards as well. Twelfth one is going to be AB copy text. So this is for alien blue users. So then you, now you can basically copy text from the uh, comment section as well. So it gives you the option of copy text to clipboard, which is pretty much not available in the default app. So you need to use this tweak now to copy any text from the comment section. All right, now the 13th one is going to be iFile. It's my favorite tweak. Now I'm running the free trial right now, but uh, basically iFile allows you to uh, access the root of your device so you can just get into the root of your device and whatever you want to do with it you know mainly for if you want to develop some jailbreak tools and all that stuff you can download the OS and everything like that so iFile again you can install uh, tweaks as well through iFile so you can do a lot of things with iFile it's a very nice tweak a necessity go ahead and download it for yourself all right guys so the next tweak is going to be status bar color status bar color gives you that black color on the top as you guys can see basically a colored status bar on your lock screen as well as on your home screen as well so as you guys can see you can change the color of the text as well you can also change the color of the status bar so right now i've got black but again you can go ahead and change it so you can go for maybe red yellow blue whatever you can even change the text color as well so the color of the date the battery and all that stuff so uh, this is status bar color it's pretty much like how you we used to have it back in ios 5 ios 6. you can even actually put some html color code as well in there so that's actually very in intensive right there all right so that is that now our next tweak is going to be the 15th tweak is going to be indulge now indulge is still a beta in beta so basically indulge gives you a top rated section in Syria. so as you can see we've got this top rated section and gives you basically uh, the top paid and top free to the tweaks so just like in the app store so here are all the f paid tweaks and then these are all the free tweaks right there as you guys can see so yeah it's pretty sweet indulge it's still in beta i will leave the repo down below from where you guys can download it right now all right so guys my next tweak is going to be safari swiper now it's a free tweak and it's it's actually a lot better on an iPhone rather than on an iPad, but just gives you the ability to simply switch between um, uh, tabs, basically, just like we on a Chrome. So as you guys can see, you just need to swipe on the status bar to switch between the apps, uh, tabs. Actually, uh, then the seventh one is going to be unlock time. As you guys can see, I've got this unlock time. So when I unlock my device, it's going to go ahead and put the time on my lock screen. So you know, if you are into spying, you can use that as well. 18th tweak is going to be NC Floater. It's a free tweak and gives you that the rounded edges. Also, you guys can see it's not full screen basically, and it's also not coming from the top, so it's just basically like floating on your screen, pretty much. So that's now it doesn't work with uh, with the control center. For that, you need you can go for roundification, but only works with notification center. So this is around uh, NC Floater. You can even you can change the corner radius as well. Next, we've got ourselves. Uh, swipe for more now swipe for more basically allows you to install or queue install any tweak directly by just swiping on the tweak itself so there's no need to go into the tweak page to install this tweak or queue it or queue install it you just simply swipe it and that's it 20 tweak is going to be translucent city it's a free tweak and gives a very not that noticeable but a very uh, translucent kind of a screen while you're installing it um, so yeah, it's even actually more noticeable on iPhone 6, iPhone 5 is not on the iPad really. Alright, so the 22nd second tweak is going to be Dismiss Progress. Allows you to basically disclose uh, out of this um, uh, installation window basically. So if you don't want to restart, respring your device, you can do it like you can do it later. And it's going to go ahead and install that tweak later on. Alright guys, so the 22nd second tweak is going to be Tweaks Refresher which brings the pull to refresh um pull to refresh gesture to the city app as well next i've got myself is reveal nc that is still in beta and brings that android style uh, notification center animation to ios it's very very cool my favorite tweak actually 24th one is going to be hide nc line that just hides a couple of nc separate lines uh which is very subtle but not that noticeable but still pretty cool next i've got myself is fold enhancer which is for one dollar 
and just changes the whole folder appearance as well. So again, I'm having nested apps, uh, nested folders as well, and also I've got five by five grid layout in my folder app. So you can go to settings, you can change the, how many apps do you want. So you can have like three apps in rows or four apps and then four apps in the column as well. So you can change it as well. Next up comment is grid switcher, which is free. It's a very cool app and it's, it's free actually and gives you a very nice grid kind of an interface for, uh, for app switcher basically. Works pretty well with alert close, which is another tweak I talked about earlier. So this is grid switcher. Again, it's free and I think it's a very, very nice tweak. So that is grid switch. Next I've got myself is guest mode. Now guest mode is for $2 and basically brings guest mode to iOS. So as you I've got two accounts. So I've got the ITK HQ and I've got a random account. I can simply get into the, the ITK HQ account just by putting in my passcode. Or I can go into the random account which doesn't have any passcode. However, the only thing down uh, here is that basically I can't open any, any, uh, any app. So as you can see, I can't even access control center or the notification center. However, if you go back uh, to your account, you can actually change the privileges as well. So, uh, and again, you can also change the styles. I've got the OS 10 style login, so that's how I've got two uh, user account options right on my lock screen. And again, I can change the privilege so I can say, all right, make sure the spotlight is available to them, make sure the notification center is available to the guest as well. Uh, next, I've got myself is shortcut key, which is a free tweak and basically brings that desktop style shortcuts to iOS. So I can just press and hold C to copy something and then I can just press and hold V to paste it. And again, I can press and hold Z to undo it. Next, I've got myself is swipe selection, which is also free. And basically, I just have to swipe a finger on the keyboard and it's going to go ahead and just move the cursor around, which is pretty cool. Alright, so next week I'm going to talk about is going to be no slow animation. So as you guys can see that my iPad is actually quite fast. All the animations are very quick. This is due to the no slow animation. You can change the speed of this as well. So you can make this slower or you can make it faster. However you like. So again, you can change it as well. Alright, next I've got myself is YouTube, which is a free tweak. And essentially, while you, while you are using or while you are listening to music on YouTube, uh, you can actually have it playing at the background as well. So you can do other stuff while the video is still playing. Alright guys, so the second tweak is going to be Zeppelin which essentially allows you to change the carrier logo so you can have it like an Apple logo instead of that carrier or you can have different thing as well. The third one is going to be Color Pass. Now Color Pass essentially gives you this very colorful numbers as you guys can see for your passcode. So when you're entering passcode you have different colors. Again, you can change these as well from the settings app. Next I've got myself is Apex 2 which is for $3 and as you guys can see uh, you just have to swipe on the icon and it gives you the ability to add more apps to them so it's basically like folder but it's a lot more stylish looks pretty cool so again I've got all the social networking apps right behind Facebook app so it wants one way to organize your applications alright so the next week is going to be Polis which is for $1 and it's a control center tweak so essentially you can go ahead and add uh, icon and basically you can quickly access an app directly from the control center. So again, I've got Impactor right here, which is Cydia Impactor, and then I can also go ahead um, uh, and just select any icon for it. So I'll go for a 500 pixel icon, which makes no sense, but it's just for this example, really. So now if I go to the control center, as you guys can see, I've got this icon, 500 pixels. If I type that, it takes me to the Impactor app, which is pretty cool. Next, I've got my Garmin Service Fuse, which is a free app and basically fuses the um, music controls and the date. So when the music is on, you can't see the date, but now you can. So it kind of fuses these two up. Then I've got myself as a multi icon mover. So basically, you can select multiple apps in the wiggle mode and then you just have to press home button and it just pastes all those icons over there as well. And also, it moves the whole Apex uh, to folder as well with it which is pretty cool. Next I've got myself a Spring to My 3 which is for three dollars. My favorite tweak of all. Basically you can do different things from Spring to My. So th basically the best way to put it is that there are tons of tweaks under one tweak. That's Spring to My 3. So um, yeah so you can do different things or whatever you want to do with it basically. So I'm going to go for, to the dock and I'll just hide the dock and as you guys can see I've got no dock at all. And you can do a lot of other things as well with Spring to Mice 3. 
you can have custom um, you know, icons on your dock as well. So you can have a lot of other, a lot of icons and a lot of applications on your dock. Next up, I myself is Slender, which is a free tweak and gives you this very nice different animations while you are scrolling through all of your pages. So as you guys can see, I've got this different tweak uh, scrolling animation, and you get a lot of different effects as well. Next I've got myself is under the Hey Siri. So just go to General Siri and go for Allow Hey Siri and tap Always. So whenever you say Hey Siri, it's going to go ahead and uh, invoke Siri, even if the device is not tethered to power outlet. Next I've got myself is Olympus, which is for four dollars, and basically it brings a very different. Uh, it's a pretty latest tweak and basically gives you a very different style of app switcher. You guys can see I've, you can access all of your quick setting toggles as well from the far left hand corner. Then you've got the music section and then you have this grid like app switcher. A lot like grid switcher which is actually free. Again you can just swipe through and you can make all of these smaller as well. Uh, it's a very, very long tweak but yeah that's just the short version. Next I've got myself is com combination lock so it gives a very retro style uh, passcode entrance kind of a system so it looks pretty cool all right so the next one is going to be Xer dock which is for 1.5 dollars Xer dock gives you a very different animations for your dock you can change these as well so I'll go to the carousel settings under the settings panel for Xer dock and I'm going to go ahead and change the type of this to maybe inverted wheel so as you guys can see this is how it's going to look you don't need to respring a device and as you guys can see now my dock has a very different animation to it Next, I've got myself the stage, which is for two dollars. You can just go through it and do so many things. It's like it's like it's like a gesture-based tweak, and I love this tweak. So again, you can uh, switch between apps just by swiping. You can close the application just by swiping from the bottom, and you get tons and tons of options and tons and tons of customization as well. So, all right, now next one is going to be multi-delete. This is free and allows you to delete multiple icons or multiple apps at once. So I'm going to go ahead and select multiple. Um, icons just tap on the crossbar a cross button and now you will see delete five applications so you can delete all these applications at once which is very very useful all right so the 45th tweak is going to be mini player which is free and brings and gives you a very simple small widget right here so you can just control your music control the volume as well and then you can just hide this all right, so 46th tweak is going to be Alpum, which is a free tweak. So when you, whenever you take a screenshot, it gives you a few options. You can copy to clipboard, upload it to some or some service, or you can just go ahead and share the screenshot as well. It's just a very nice tweak. 47th tweak is going to be I widgets. It's a free tweak and gives you the ability to have Android style widgets on your iOS device. Just tap and hold on your Springboard, and you can get into this. And as I guess instead I've got myself this analog dock, uh, analog clock right here, I can just move it around. All right, next I've got myself a sleep effect, which is for five dollars, and this gives you different animations when you put your device to sleep. So as you guys can see, I've got this. Um, now I can actually change this as well. So just go over to settings and go over to a sleep effects and change this to TV tube, which is my favorite. You can also actually add sounds as well, but this is TV tube. So let's take a look at it. There you go. It looks pretty cool. 49 is going to be Insta code, which is a free tweak and basically gives the passcode and clock the same view basically. So it's just like fuse, but now you don't need to swipe to enter your passcode. 50th tweak is going to be heart transplants. Whenever you like a song, it's going to t add that song to your My Music library. So no longer you need to go to that eclipse mode and you know press add to my music so guys this is pretty much it thank you very much for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed it and just make sure you guys subscribe to my channel like this video follow me on twitter and i'll talk to you guys all in my next video peace out